So I want to show you a better way of doing this if you have more than one um, comment or name in the database. Say if you have a table, I mean a, a form that people send messages to the web page itself and that all goes into the same database. So um, doing this will save you time pretty much. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to write in front of where it says rows. I'm going to put a while. And then I'm just going to put um, a um, parentheses like this, right? And instead, I'm going to take off this uh, little um, semicolon. And then I'm going to put, I don't know, curly brackets. And then, so now I have a, a while loop, whatever. But let me just take this off. All right, let me indent that and let me put that curly bracket out here. Okay, so now this echo statement is inside of this while loop, which has the echo name, blah, 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 blah. All right, so if I save this, nothing will change. Nothing should change, nothing changed. Okay, but let's say I go into my database now and I want to insert another, you know, another comment or area. You know another ID number pretty much so a name let's say I put John and John says um, this is a great tutorial keep keep them coming okay all right and I say go Okay, and now it shows what it inserted into that area. But if I go to browse, you'll see now you'll see the ID. There's one, and now there's another one, and then you see the other comment and name. So if I were to actually go into this page again and refresh, you'll see a new name. If I zoom, now it looks kind of sloppy like I don't like the way it looks like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, I have a break here now I want to break um, after here as well I usually put two breaks because make it look a little neater and let's see how that looks whoops I'll put up something else and there you go. So now it's separated. Sorry about this. Okay. So now it's separated in the database and it looks great. And that's the end of this tutorial. And um, next tutorial, I'll be um, showing you guys this exact same thing, but we're going to put more style into it. And and then we'll, we'll probably most likely have a tutorial with me making a form that goes from the web page to the database that we made called get data and goes into the table get info and then it'll display onto the page it's when you refresh the page you know so um look forward to those two tutorials and that's it all right see ya bye